In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. So, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working on, at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sword he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord. Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, the response is, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise is blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he who helps is the God of Jacob. Blessed, is, blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the, to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they hold it ashore, and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. 
Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Today's Gospel talks about another parable. Jesus tells his disciples that the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea. The net collects many species of fish and other objects. The fishermen then will separate what is good and useful and they will remove what they could not use. Just like the love of God for his people, he gathers everyone, sinners and not sinners. We are like the fishes of every kind that has been collected by the net. God has chosen to be merciful to us and be patient with us even though we are all sinners. He chose to leave the judgment at the end. He believes everyone has a chance to change their lives, to be a good person. However, we also know we all have free will to choose which path to walk in our life. Will we choose to stay in simple life or walk away from it? Do we want or be saved in the final judgment? Then we must work and pray for this. We must stop our simple ways and accept eagerly the love of God. He is offering to each and every one of us the peace, love, and forgiveness of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, ask yourselves today, are you one of the righteous or wicked? There's a mixture of good and bad to each and every one of us. We must respond to the goodness and follow on to Jesus for he will forgive us sinners and will help us live in peace. My dear friends, God's giving us a lot of chances. Why we are still alive here on earth, let us change a lot of bad things in our life, our attitudes, our lifestyles, and so on and so forth. God is asking us today, little by little, let us change and let us surrender our life to God. And God also is telling us, as much as possible, turn away from sin and let us believe the gospel. Let us believe our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As members of the body of Christ, let us lift our prayers to Heavenly Father for all our needs. For the church, 
May she be continually blessed with an abundance of divine goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from the loss of a loved one, may our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. For the young people of our faith community, may God guide and protect them amid the pressures in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rest in the loving embrace of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass the special intention of Le Baron family and also those who are celebrating their birthdays today, most especially Leia Pascual and Sheila Arsenal, and also for the souls of Milkea Longchi, Loderick Malacas, Celso Rosas Arsenal, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners, our brothers and sisters who are sick, those who have cancer, those who are dying this very moment, those experiencing a lot of sufferings in life, depression, anxieties. We pray also, once again, for peace. Peace all over the world. Peace in our hearts. Peace in our homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer this day. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down His Spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, our nuns, our seminarians, those who are helping our parish Corpus Christi. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, all together, let us pray be our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
those who are not able to attend our daily masses here and they are not able to receive the Holy Communion, uh, you just pray the uh, reverently the prayer for the spiritual communion that you can see to the screen of your TV and to your cell phone. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ended. Go and let us pray for one another. Thanks be to God. I just.